32. I'm Zach. Hunting, fishing, outdoor adventure and exploration, they run in my blood. I am deeply driven. Well, this is it. Suffice to say, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. This is going to be our first line run of the year, the annual Memorial Day Diddy Pool uh, shindig here. Andy and I are getting just our poles set right now. It's, you know, we're getting them set early so we can get our spots. And we're going to be camping this weekend is the plan. And there's going to be two boats uh, of us out here on line. So it'll be different. I should have filming on both boats. I think Matt is going to film for me on Aaron's boat. I don't think you guys have officially met Aaron yet. Uh, you will this weekend. It is supposed to thunderstorm, rain, all kinds of stuff this weekend, which is not great camping weather. So camping is going to be a little suspect, but it is good line running weather. So I'm anticipating we're going to get some catfish. Andy and I are going to pound poles right now. It's like noonish, one-ish. And then we'll probably come out and check them again tonight. And then uh, we'll check them again tomorrow night, and then it's going to kick off the weekend. So we're starting right now during a week to get our spots. This is our first time having this boat out on the river since we sunk it during duck season. I'm going to put a link up to that video here because that was quite the ordeal. Uh, we almost had to call a search and rescue, but friends rescued us instead. So hopefully she runs good. We've been doing some work to her. So uh, we're uh, looking for spots now. We're pounding in 10 poles right now. We got a bunch more getting pounded in this weekend, as well as running a trot line. Should be my first time getting video of running the trot. Now this is one heck of a log jam series, so we're gonna put a pole on this for sure. This is a muddy river pool. Justin makes these from uh, Muddy River Outdoors. The line's all self-contained. It goes down up into the PVC. We swivel on here. We've got our box of drops. So we just put like a dowel rod or something like that. But so it doesn't get mud stuck up in there. So it's a slick little system really. Pool number two is fishing. I've got a real affinity for small rivers like this. This spot right here, right off, right there, eight feet deep. This is a, that's a good spot. I'm gonna throw a little bullhead in here. These are amazing bait because they just stay alive forever. It just won't quit. I'm trying to catch fish. And we're fishing for flatheads. Really wanna have lively bait. But we got a bowl in the bank right here. That's something I really like to see because oftentimes the current runs along the bank, gets to the bowl, and then it causes a back swirl on itself. And I always look for that back swirl. All right, that is the final pole of the evening. Andy and my 10 poles are set. We'll see, we're gonna learn a couple new spots. We got a couple of the, you know, the, the tried and trues, but rivers are always changing. So, you know, that's just kind of the way it is. Spots you had five years ago are gonna look different, especially when you get as many floods as we do, so. Is what it is. We got ours pounded in some likely spots, and we're gonna go check the four that we set earlier right now. So there it's set number one. It's looking pretty still. I don't think anything's on that yet. Well, this pool was actually cleaned, which I'm surprised that it's seen action. But if you've watched my channel any, you know that clean poles are my least favorite thing. So you never know what happened to them. Anyway, we'll rebate it and uh, check the next one. They don't have to go far from set number one to hit set number two, which is about 100 yards down the bank. All right, let's see. Yeah, nope, nothing. Lively bait, at least. See, that I'm okay with more so than no bait. Here's pool number three. Oh, that's clean, too. Are you kidding me? This is set number four. It's about an eight-foot hole right there. Also looking still. Again, we got them hung pretty high because we are anticipating rain and rising river. So, 
you're wondering why they are set so high, that is the reason. First fish of the weekend, I believe. Check it. Right. Nice. That's not a bad size channel. I'll take that, man. I'll take that. Cool. I bet he's. I don't have to scale with me. I bet he's seven or eight. Yeah. We're going. We're throwing back. We're back in the river. There we go. Thanks, bud. All right, one for four. That was the first Diddy Pool catfish of the year. Uh, saw a little channel. Probably the most docile channel cat I've ever encountered in my life. Um, yeah, on the board. We're going to check in tomorrow night. Anticipating a rising river, so should be good. Well, it's a bit of a long story that I did not document. We're on the way to check lines tonight. Bearing flew off the trailer. Why wouldn't it? And uh, I wind up calling up Aaron Weaver. You haven't met him yet on the channel, but you will here in a minute. He's running lines with us all weekend, too. He's a second boat. Um, I had, I had Calvin go get my flatbed from home, reeled my boat up on that. They're taking that home so Andy can work on the trailer. Me and Aaron are going to go check these poles, so you have to check them every 24. So we're going to go check these lines right now and see if we got any fish on. So while we've got light, Aaron brought his boat down uh, to come and rescue the lines because we got to check them. So me and him are going to run up the river. We're going to check the lines, just make sure that, you know, we got fish on, we got bait, you know. We just don't want to be unethical here. We're coming up on set one. It's still, I'm gonna guess, cleaned. Okay, set number two. When we leave them for 24 hours like this, I don't have a, I don't have a lot of high hopes for having fish on. That's a lot of time for them to fight their way off. As predicted, that is cleaned. This is the next set. I'm gonna guess cleaned on this too. I don't know he's got much size, but oh, it's a channel cat. I'll take it. Well, that is probably about a three-pounder. Would be a good eater if we were keeping fish. We are not this evening. Back in the water. Set number four. No cobwebs, that's a start. Anybody, anybody? Nope, cleaned. Nothing we're cleaned off here. Cleaned off. I like saying that to jinx it. Oh, he's just a channel. Yeah. That ain't nothing. Oh, my cap came off of that. Okay. Okay. It just came off, didn't it? Ah -ha! That's my fault. No, don't. No, <laughs> it's my fault for... Uh... Put some bait on, get it again. That one was probably in the 30s. Yeah, she has bent pretty good, but. That's all right. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. That's right. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. Well, we uh, just pulled up to that one. It had a fish on it with some size to it. Uh, I didn't get a hold of it in time. It worked its way off the line. It happens. Probably had some size we got all weekend. So I'm not sweating it. We got a bullhead rebaited on that. If it's a flathead, hopefully he's still hungry. All right, second to last set. We might have another opportunity here because yes. it looks like there might be weight on this pole. It looks like the pole's bobbing. Now it's right underneath it. Kick her left. Here we go. Yeah, bud. Bigger channel. Yeah. I'll take it. Big head on him. Yeah, he's got some growing to do for sure. That's all right. All right. He's going back in the water. See you later. All right, that pole's got some movement. Oh. Here we go. Holy crap. Good channel cat. And he unhooked uh, himself and he almost hooked me. All righty. We'll get bigger, buddy. And sorry about your mouth. All right, well, hopefully all of our mishaps are done. Uh, like I said, the wheel bearings fell off my trailer last night. Had to come and get my flatbed, haul my boat trailer home. Andy got, hopefully got the bearing fixed on it. Um, I'm hauling the boat trailer right now. It looks to be okay. So we're going to go try and run lines. Now we're going to camp. Now we're running lines for real. We just kind of had poles pounded to save our spots. Now we're, hope, well, we're really running lines and... Um, we're going to set Colton's poles. We're going to set the trot line with Nicole's name on it. 
and Aaron's boat. She's gonna have Aaron's gonna have Matt and Calvin with him, at least. Um, they're gonna set their poles. Well, we have made it to the boat ramp. We're supposed to get rain this weekend. Andy brought his camper down for us to scuttle into if we uh, start getting dumped on. This is all our setup. We're on a big setup this weekend. It's Colton here is chasing Iowa outdoors. Again, we link his channel up. If you don't know who he is by this point, shame on you. Uh, Indiana Jones is back from the Lost Ark. Andy, that's a great shot of him right there. Oh yeah. He's working on, working on a bait tank. My lady friend Nicole is probably doing some work somewhere at camp. Our, we're camping in the trees. We pretty much have our own little like camp parking lot here. <laughs> And uh, Aaron's got his boat, so Calvin is also here. He's gonna be on Aaron's boat. Matt's gonna be on Aaron's boat. And Aaron is also gonna be on Aaron's boat, of course. And then we're gonna get uh, put in the water here in a minute. Get going. All right, set number one. We're gonna see if we got something on here. It looks pretty tight though. It does look pretty tight. Yeah, Col there's fish on. Colton, I'm gonna have you get it then, bud. Well, no, you grab it, bro. No, you do it. All right, fine. All right, fine, I'll grab it. It might just be tangled on a root. Fish on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 First check. Nice channel. Nice channel cap. All right, this fish here was set number one of the day. Channel cap, nice little cap. We're going back in the water. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. I'd say there's a fish. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Channel. No. Big channel. No. Cleaned. Clean. Yeah, it's cleaned off. Oh. We did jinx it. My bad. Yeah, you did. That's one of the only times you ever pulled up to this set and had not a catfish on it. Colton really enjoying cool. nature on his phone. Yeah. We're getting Colton's poles pounded in right now. He's got one set. This is his set number two. Nicole's going to pull this one up. We don't know if we got a fish on or not. It may just be cleaned. Hold your beer. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, oh. Fish? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a you better stand up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> get it. Nice. Yeah! Get it! There it is! Yeah. Flathead! Yeah. Hi, buddy! First flathead! How are you doing? Wow! I bet he's 10. All right, we caught him. We pictured him. We're going to release this flathead. He'd be a pretty good eater, but we're just not keeping him on this run. So uh, we're just going to put him back. Get bigger. We are three for four on sets. We're all smiles on the boat. We just boated our first flathead. That thing is probably about 10 pounds. Scale's in my truck, so when we go back up, I'll go get the scale. We need to stop forgetting that dang thing. But uh, we've got yeah, two, more poles to check. two more, yeah, two more poles to check. And we got three of Colton's to pound in. We got a trot line to set. I have never filmed a video with setting trot line. We are setting trot line this weekend. <laughs> he threw you halfway to it. Oh. Buckle your seatbelt. Yeah, I warned you. I know, but <laughs> it's clean. Clean. That's all. That had a fish on it, though. Oh, it, it, Look it, at the way that's look twisted. Look that. that definitely had a fish on it. Yep. A little sunny. You gotta think of it as a circle hook. So you kind of got to bend it a little more. Yep. To get started. Perfect. Cool. Oh. All right, we're fishing this one. This is a great set. We're gonna catch something off this at some point. Our next upriver set has pretty much a freaking beaver dam up in it. That's cool. Stinks. Oh. Well, that's. Dead. That's opposite of cool. There's a dead possum in that log jam. So that's good. It smells great. Honestly, that's camp cooking. Colton, have you eaten possum yet? You have it you have to uh, camp. No. It's river food. You have no, to eat thank it. You. Okay. It's looking awfully I still. I half my beer. <laughs> this is where we're gonna set the trot. Ah, uh, you want to grab that pole out of there, Zach? Cleaned off. Yep. We'll go set this pole somewhere else. Yep. We're going to set a trot line here in a second. I've never done that on my channel before, but uh, about to see it. The idea is we're going to put uh, a pole in the bank. You can't run it bank, or you can't run it like bank to bank. So we're going to put a pole in the bank. We're going to run a main line from that pole to a, a weight with a float. I'll show you all this here in a second. It'll make sense. Uh, it's going to be out kind of in the middle of the river. On that main line, we're going to clip drops on it with bait. Got a variety of bait. So, 
Colton's losing our Colton's losing our anchor here. Uh, and we're gonna have a variety of bait. So I'm gonna show you as we go here. So this is my trot line bucket. I mentioned the main line a moment ago on this noodle is my main line. I'm gonna clip it into that pole we just pounded into the bank. And then we're gonna run the main line out into the river. There's a series of eddies. It's really deep right in here, almost 12 feet for a small river. That's really good. And we're gonna run the main line out there to a weight way at the end. Maybe you can see that brush pile up there. It'll be about there. We have drops all up and down this main line. We got a variety of baits, shrimp. We got cut shad. We got live bait. And we're gonna leave this here. See if we get any fish on it. All right, pulls to the anchor. All right, lines are checked. We got the trot line set after some, uh... is circusry a word? It was a circus. Uh, we lost the anchor in the water. I don't know how that rope broke. We're gonna have to figure out a new anchor or something. So, I don't know, we got it kind of pounded into the other bank. Maybe it'll catch fish, maybe not, we'll see. We are back at camp and this whole boat is hungry. We're gonna go see what the food situation is like up on shore there. So we did wind up nabbing this campsite back in the trees. Got our tents scattered around a bit. Fire going and uh, some brats for us as well. We've been back to camp. We had some brats for dinner, which was yummy. And we are heading back out now. We're gonna just run real fishing before we check the lines. Matt, Aaron, and Calvin's boat went up to go check their lines. Uh, they probably left about an hour and a half ago. So we're gonna see if they got any fish hanging. I'm excited to hear what they got because I, I sent them into an area that. I've never really ran before, never really been, because it's so far from a boat ramp. Aaron's got a bigger boat motor, so I figured he'd get up there. I'm really curious how they do. But we're gonna we're gonna soak some rod and reel here for a bit, see how, how that treats us, and then we'll check our lines. Well, Colton's hooked into one. There we go. Heart. Nice. Well, we might we might be set on cut bait. Yeah, I think it's huge, <laughs> dude. Even if it's a cart, man, that's just that's good fight. First fly hit of the year, I love it. Need a fish. Need one. I got one. I got one. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's a good 10 pounder on too. Just get in. <laughs> I just got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a fish on it. There's not a fish on it anymore. Oh, it's still kicking. Oh, this one might be promising. Rod and reel is done. Colton outfished us with the rods and the reels. We're gonna try and pull some poles right now. All right, check number two's got some bob to it. It is heading downstream pretty hard. We'll see though. Oh boy, oh boy. Up here. Let's see. Anything? Yeah, oh, dude, that's a, that is a fat channel. That was 10.22, that's got a sag belly on that channel cat. He's going back in the river. This is kind of in a root ball. 
very specific spot because there's fast current and then it immediately gets slow right in this little bowl. If this is not flathead. It looks like there might be a bit of little bob to it. I got him. Oh, that's a good fish. I got him. Oh, oh, he was just, whoopsie. He was just hey. fighting hard. That's, that's not a very big fish that's at not all. That's a big fish. <laughs> he was just fighting hard. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yep. Channel cap. All right, this guy here would be an excellent eater. But again, we're not keeping him tonight. So if he gets to uh, get lucky. Oh, that's wearing that pole out. Oh yeah, something's on there. We got some activity. This is this is this is something else that's fun. That's probably a channel cat. It's on this pole right here. Wearing it out. But it's fun anyway. Huge, but it'll do. It'll do. Good size channel, actually. He was wearing that out. 952. 9.52 channel. Yeah, another fish. He's little, but little it's a fish. Cat. That's number five for the night. Little guy. Well, we'll see if this trot did anything for us. The trot had nothing, had some clean lines, but uh, no fish. Finishing tonight with five channels. A couple of them were really good size. We had a ten and a quarter channel, and then we had one that was like nine and a half, and then some smaller ones. So pretty good. We're gonna go back and uh, go to bed because it's tired out here. So we will run these babies again in the morning. We do have a thunderstorm on the radar. Right now we're kind of like, hmm, maybe it'll miss us, maybe it won't, but that is kind of also front of mind uh, at the moment. Oh, so okay, we'll see if that huh? hits us or not. All right, we are off on the late morning line check. It's like 10.15 right now. Rain is holding off for now. Here's our first set. We got cobwebs. Clean. Alive? Yeah. Man, bullets are so tough. Caught in a log jam? No big deal. Still going to work for you. That is the best bait that they make. Next set just across the way here. It's straight down and vibrating, but I don't think it's got a fish on it. Yep. It does have a fish on it. Cool. Ooh. Big channel. All right. Cool. Sweet. We are off to go check that trot line. First hook is clean. So we are new to running a trot line, and like I said, the anchor, uh, the anchor rope broke last night, and the anchor went in the river. So this is not exactly how you're really supposed to set the thing. I don't think we had nothing on. I don't think no vibration. I don't either, but. Well, the trot did not produce again. Most of it had bait on it. I've never used shrimp for bait, and it is going untouched. <laughs> so that'll probably be the first and last time I use shrimp. And the, again, the trot is set kind of goofy, so we're probably. Well, like I said, we lost the anchor. So Aaron's is actually bringing us a new anchor and we'll get that rigged up right this evening and actually get to run it and check it tomorrow a smart way. So that'll be good. Cleaned off. All right, let's pull it. We'll move this one here. We're just moving one of Colton's poles. It's the nice thing about running on a long weekend is you can kind of see the spots that are good and the ones that aren't. So we just got this willow that's overhanging, giving it some shade. So this should be a good spot. I think it's going to catch. This pole's bobbing. Yep, yeah, it's running away from you. There we go. Fish on, buddy. Oh, nice channel. So this uh, channel cat's got, like I said, he's got a big head. He's long. He's going 7.08. Uh, I think if he was feeding up harder, he'd be a 10, 11 pound class fish for sure. We're gonna put him back in the water as well, and we'll be off to the next one. He's coming out, back, back. Oh, 
He was just an active fish. Channel cat. Let's say he's probably four ish. Yeah. Just a little guy. If it was one run later, you'd be in trouble, bud. See ya. Alrighty, next pole also has a fish on. Heads up. Yep. Big channel. Big channel. Nice. Yeah. He does not have a sag belly though, but that is a nice size channel cat. Probably like a seven, eight pounder. Right. He might go nine. He's got a, a long body and a big head. This nice channel went eight pounds. Let me get a picture with him and then we'll release him. Next set here, we just pulled up. It was cleaned off. How unfortunate. That bait cooler smells amazing. Wow, mm. We definitely gotta uh, drain it. All right, this is gonna be another, another fish. Got a nern. I hold you beer. Colton, you this will be you, bud. Oh, yeah. There's some size on him. Oh, what the crap? Holy shit. What in the world? What is that? Oh my <laughs> Lord. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Put the scale on that thing. <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh shoot! Oh my goodness! <laughs> There's your Take big one. I bet he's, dude. I bet that thing's 35 pounds. But well, we're we're gonna weigh this thing. <laughs> yeah. This is a, I think it's a buffalo. Now that is enormous. We've never caught. I mean, it was on live bait. Yeah, that's nuts. I thought they were vegetarian, but I am wrong. It's, yeah, he's over 30. 35, 32, 32, 31. That's nuts. That hasn't beeped yet. Thirty-one point six six. Well, that buffalo went thirty-two pounds almost. Thirty-one point six six. Never caught any kind of carp on identity. That was crazy. That was just nuts. So we got to repaint him with the chub. We got a couple other sets left to check here. We're gonna check them out. It is not. No, it was just bouncing for fun. It's clinked. Uh, okay, this is the last one. It's pretty still. It doesn't have no weight. It is cleaned off again. Old Aaron brought me a hub. She uses an anchor to replace trot line anchor fall in the water so now sunday evening we can set the drop line right last time we got one out of this one here this time we got clicked Flathead. That's too mad. <laughs> nice save. Nice save. She lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Set number one, again, I'm driving the boat. I was screaming over the motor earlier, but Andy's hanging back with Christina at uh, camp to rod and reel fish some. So me and Colton and Nicole checking the lines. 
This one here was cleaned. Colton's got a bluegill on that baby. We don't know if this has a fish. Just got a bullhead. Still alive. All right, we are at the trot line. We, we got an anchor. We're back in business. We're rebaiting because I don't think that shrimp hasn't been catching us nothing. So we're using a lot of cut shiners, a little bit of live bait. We think we actually have the day's first, the weekend's first fish on the trot. Yeah, we'll keep that one. You guys want to keep fish? I think we might as well. That'd be a great one. That's a, that's a tasty one, I think. See, if we can get, you know, every time we run the trot, if we can get two, three, four like that, cool. There we go. Nice. Perfect eater. Cool. So that's probably like two pounds. The idea here is to get downstream so that we can get this bait in the middle. The anchor is going to be on the bottom and the jug is going to float it just off the bottom. So we're fishing multiple depths over a stretch of river. All right. So now that we've got the trot set properly, it freed up a ditty pole for us. So we're pounding that into a new spot right here at this confluence of these rivers. I think he's upstream. Yeah, okay. Yeah, come in on the downside. Ooh. He's biting it. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Nice little channel. Nice little channel. There we go. Nice. Gonna be another eater. Hey. Sorry. I'll get what back in the buddy. world? Is he just getting wrapped around. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that before. So we were just on our way back up river. We just rebaited this pole and I saw it going nuts. A little channel on there, eater size. I think we're gonna keep them. We do want some fish to fry. So I think we're gonna keep this guy. All right, here's our next set. Got a little bit of stormage moving in over there. We're kind of racing that. Was it a lightning? Yeah. I think we should probably oh, hit that. Yeah. We need, yeah. All right, here's next pole here. We are getting some weather coming in. Channel cat, bud. Channel. All right, well, we are getting the hell off the water because lightning is rolling in. We're going to leave our last two poles. It'll be well within 24 hours, even if we check it tomorrow. We just got to get off the water because we got some weather up there, man. Those are some pretty angry clouds in a slow boat. No, you're no, fine. No, you're fine. You're fine. Go. You're fine. I got my dog and my sunglasses. Okay. Nothing else. Ooh. We got caught in that storm. Calvin swapped my boat trailer onto his truck so we'd get out of there faster and not with a second to spare. Me and Nicole and the Colby guy are uh, just hanging out in the tent for now. So far, the rain fly is holding up. Well, it is Monday morning. So, obviously, the last day of the extended weekend rain did finally move in last night and uh made the camp a little bit soupy we got some more come in this afternoon so i think we're gonna try and run lines early we're gonna do an upriver run because my boat's moving so slow we're gonna do an upriver run do all that stuff come back down eat breakfast to camp and then we're gonna go down river and get our poles down there our campsite has turned into uh chocolate pudding all right, we're gonna go run these upriver sets here. See what we got. We only got a few upriver. Right, here we go, first set of the day. This set here was cleaned off. We got it pulled. This really, between these log jams, you would have thought that you'd really be a lot better off catching fish. I think we only caught one out of here since Thursday and it's Monday. The coffee, this set's been pretty good, but I don't oh, know if it's got anything on it now. Nil. Nil? Nil. Alright, this one's bobbing. Alright. We got some of this weight. Yep. Oh! Look 
get that channel cat. Oh, that's a nice gracious. one, dude. But it's bouncing. Andy's got 11. Zach's got. All right. No, Zach's got 11. Andy's got 10. Dead. I've got 12. Yeah, I think. I think. So I'm sure my arm is right in the way of the scale. <laughs> 12. It's just bouncing like this. Oh, it's bouncing between 10 and 11 and 12. So, nope, 12.06. 12. 12. 0. 0. Yeah. 12.06 pound channel cat. All right, if this channel went 12.06, that is a nice channel cat, and we're going to put it back in the river. And back you go. So we're pulling up to the trot. For most of the weekend, we didn't really have it set right. We did get it set right last night. Took off some of the crappy old frozen shad I had, the frozen shrimp. Put on more fresh dead shiners, some live bait, and set it right. So now, this could be kind of interesting. Oh yeah, we got fish. Got a nice little eater channel right here. Perfect. Tossing the bottom of the boat for now. Little one pounder. This might be something else on here too. Okay, let me see if I can get this hook out. Yep, I'm stopping. Try and hold it still here. Yep. Yeah, we got another one on. Nice. Oh, yikes, that's a mess. Okay, I'm gonna let you take this one. I'm okay. gonna take this mess. Sounds, sounds good to me. All right, can we hold off for a second here, Zach? Yeah, that fish might have gotten off. All right, that's it for our upriver sets. We had one off the trot, we lost one off the trot, which we learned, this was pretty new, that running trot lines. So I think we learned that we're trying to untangle drops. First of all, don't use a Walmart trot line. Second of all, if you got fish on, just run up, get the fish off of the trot, and then go back and untangle your lines. Because we lost that fish and we we're untangling lines. We were heading back to camp for food, and we're gonna go run down river. This is the last leg of our last run. We got about eight poles to check or so, something like that. Uh, we ate breakfast, kind of started breaking up camp, and uh, yeah, we're gonna first see if we got some fish hanging. All right, here's our first set. The river has come up. Just was set a little bit low, but that's probably come up a foot. Cleaned off. This river's come up quite a bit, which is nice. I kind of wish we had had it uh, 
a little earlier in the weekend, but better late than never. But well, we got a fish on here, bud. Sorry, guys. You're good. I can't see the pole. Colt, you might have to kind of grab the pole and sort of halfway guide us in here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Woo. Get him in the boat. Yes. Channel cat going back in the river. Boom. No, sir. Got uh, some plants and a vegetarian fish. This has been a good spot for us this weekend, but it had a big bullhead, so it's kind of double or nothing. What's your beer? I don't, I, I, we might be nothing. Don't look, you don't look active. Cleaned off. Weak. It's cleaned off. Yep, here we go. Nope, not a It's a big channel. He acted like a flathead on the line. He did too. I thought we were flying there for a minute too. Here we go. I gotta turn, I gotta turn. Turn. All right, we're gonna pull up to the last pole. And, uh, the last one of the weekend. It might just be on a root here. Yes, sir. It's on a root. There may be a fish on it, though. There's a fish on it, too. Channel cat, buddy. Big old channel. Big old channel. All right. Here's the last channel cat of the weekend. A lot of channels. Not a lot of flatheads. This guy's going back in the river. Belly flop. So this guy got to get out on his first time, really running the river with us. Yeah. He is pooped. We're all pooped. I'm I, I'm just yeah. I'm tired. It was a lot of fun though. It was yeah. A blast. Come do it again with us. Hell yeah. Well, this is it. We got camp all picked up, and you can see we left a whole lot of footprints. But all we left, footprints. Always got to make sure to pick up after yourself. That's a wrap for the video, man. Um, it's just, it was a good weekend. It was nice having everybody out. We ran two boats. It was a little bit different the way we did that. And uh, I think both boats caught fish, you know, both boats caught some nice fish. Um, so it's been a good time. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I got a lot of adventures coming up, especially catfish and variety. It's that time of year. Um, give me a like, drop me a comment. Let's talk fishing. We'll catch you on the next one.